Well, Dubai is known for its iconic towers and mega construction activity, but we also forget that uh, in order to build these buildings, we need laborers, we need people that will work for the construction company. And our next guest is Mohammed Jindaran uh, from Overseas Labor Supply. And uh, Mohammed's expertise is the facilitation of providing laborers specifically for the construction industry. A maybe you can talk. Our, yeah, a maybe part of our, our clientele from the construction industry. Because that's why we've been focused right from the beginning when we started in 1979. Wow. So we've done. So uh, you've been here for how many years? 40 years. 40 years. You you yourself have been here I for 40 here, years? Yeah. yeah. I, I was a fresh graduate from uh, Bombay University. Okay. In 1979, okay. I started the business here. I was lucky enough to get uh, a good partner here, Musharja. So we were here we we're together. Fantastic. The business and we've grown slowly but steadily. So you provide recruiting services to the construction industry, both the contractor and subcontractors? All, all. The subcontract, I mean everybody in the construction. Even we could go for the higher levels, for example, if they need project managers, construction managers, site engineers, and then down the line. Fantastic. And your your services are here in the UAE, in the UAE. and uh, the other regions, and the, the entire GCC. Yeah, the GCC, absolutely. Fantastic. We have been supplying almost all the GCC, but although now our focus is mostly uh, outside UAE, it will be into Saudi Arabia because of the tremendous uh, projects that are coming up there. We've already been in negotiation with uh, some of the developers in Saudi Arabia, and they are now looking to use our services. But mostly in Saudi, what I've seen is they're looking for people with UAE experience. Because they, are, they seem okay. to be a little bit okay. more uh, tended to take people with UAE experience because of the, uh, you know, they are the better, better finished. So, to speak. so you're scanning all of your old records to yeah, to find all the contacts. Want, but uh, uh, what I found is the kind of response I'm getting from Saudi Arabia is that if you can find qualified people within UAE, then it's easier to sort of us to transfer them directly from UAE to Saudi Arabia. Your, your inquiry for labor would probably give us a very good indication as to the market trends within the construction sector in the region Absolutely. and yeah. you talk a lot about Saudi Arabia so are you seeing increased demands now in for Saudi, supplied yes. Saudi? In the next 10 years definitely. I mean in the past few years we've seen the Saudi government try to move more uh, you know they've been a little bit restrictive to uh, the employment from from overseas uh, candidates is that changing it's again? It's changing now because of the new projects coming up okay they, I mean just the other day we were talking to another project called the RIA. It was yeah. announced uh, recently and they themselves going to need about 55,000 workers. Wow, wow. And then their projects like Kidia, Neom, uh, Red Sea Development. These are huge projects where we're expecting uh, a lot of movement uh, for, for, for uh, blue and white color workers to be mobilized. So, so you, have, uh, you have partners throughout the world. How many countries? 22. Yeah, 22 countries that we've got are established recruitment centers. Like in Asia, Asia India, Pakistan, these kind of regions. We've got Southeast Asia, we've got the Middle East, uh, we've got Africa, and then we've got uh, parts of Europe, Eastern Europe. Fantastic, yeah. fantastic. And some from uh, North America, because I'm also based in Canada, I'm a Canadian. So we do some other kind of recruitment in Canada. Okay. Uh, specialized chefs, hotel managers. Teachers. We did a lot of teachers. Wow. English wow, speaking. wow. Yeah. So, so it's not just the construction no, industry. No, no, no. We do all kinds. But of course, construction has been uh, the most uh, in demand sector where people, clients have been using our services. So, is your business uh, a subscriber to the Ventures platform? Yes. How do you use the Ventures platform for well, your marketing staff is recruiting? Is, 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 is viewing Ventures every day. We get uh, those mails from Ventures every day mentioning the, the projects uh, that are already going on or awarded. And it gives you information of who else uh, did for the project. So we have, we, we, you know, we get a lot of information as far as to add to our database. And then my marketing team, marketing team is in touch with, uh, the, with the company uh, managers or, or recruitment uh, officers or whoever is is, you know, in charge of that, and that's how Ventures is helping us. So we wow. we get new business from Ventures. Adventures, we. we new every year. <laughs> well, that's what I like to hear. <laughs> Adventures, we say that if you, we believe that if you stay informed, you'll stay yes. competitive. Is this Absolutely. is I, this the situation for you? I do believe that yes, because Ventures gives us uh, up to date information, uh, you know, on what are the ongoing projects. So that's really helping us. Wow. And they've even offered to arrange meetings uh, for us. We had a meet, uh, we had a discussion with uh, some of your senior officials and they were offering, uh, which we might use their services, to actually fix up meetings with uh, certain key uh, uh, 
uh, officials in, in the in the in the potential companies that we might be. Fantastic. Yeah, so that's well, that's I'm the director of sales lead okay, management, so it's good for me to hear that. So that, that, so. that is your, your company's helping us a lot. Well, we, really feel, I mean, we, we look forward to it. We've been with you for the last, I think, five years or six years. Tremendous. Yeah, yeah, tremendous. That's, that's going okay for us. Yeah. Excellent. Well, we wish you all the best Thank in so your, your efforts to uh, store, I mean, 55,000 for one project in Saudi Arabia. Well, no, that's not going to be only for us. But then that's the actual. 5% would be enough, right? 1% <laughs> I don't know, I mean, that, but that's the kind of demand that's actually uh, projected right now. Excellent. So we're looking at Saudi Arabia, but then again, we're looking at UAE as well, because uh, especially after or during the 2020, when more companies are coming in, and they're going to be establishing bases in UAE, hopefully in Dubai, mm. uh, that's when we hope to, you know, cater to those companies as well. Uh, we've done quite a bit for the companies that are set up around the, around the, by the Expo area, there are certain companies that are already coming as for logistics, etc. to be dealing with them. Dubai, Center, Dubai World Center is going to be all the uh, major companies coming and registering with them, so we can supply them as well. We do also take care of other facilities management, we take care of the uh, security, we take care of the cleaning. So, you know, all kinds, anything related with property uh, development and uh, and where manpower is required to service those projects, we are able to do that. You seem very passionate about recruiting. So well, that's my life. Right from the very beginning, I, 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 I'm a graduate of human resources from Bombay University, and I've stuck to my line of business. So well, so if, if you're looking for a, a supportive recruiting partner, make sure you give Overseas Labour Supply a call. I'm sure Mr. Muhammad will take good care of you. Thanks for joining yeah, us thank here. You. Thank you so much for having me here. <laughs> Thanks for joining us at the Big Five, Muhammad. So Wish you the best. Take care. Cheers.